how's it going? I'm Karina, and today I'll be showing you my drawing process for No Name. She's a really cool artist, and you should most definitely check her out. Um, I apologize for the lighting right now. It will get better, but for this footage, I took it in Michigan with my family, so um, that's why it's a little darker than usual, a little less quality. Speaking of, I started it when I was in Michigan, like two and a half weeks ago. And let me just say, I have never spent so much time and effort on a drawing. Like literally, I probably spent like 20 hours on this drawing. I don't know how, cause it's like pretty on par with the rest of my work. It's not like crazy good, but I think part of it had to do with me going to Michael's and buying a new, like really good pencil sharpener. It's a Faber-Castell, as you can see. I still don't know if I pronounced that right or wrong, but it makes your pencils so unbelievably sharp. And I have never had a pencil sharpener that works so efficiently and makes my pencils that sharp. So I think I really wanted to take advantage of how sharp it was making my pencils. And I really wanted to get in all the details and layer really nicely. So I don't know, it doesn't seem that different from most of my work, but I think I could really tell a difference when I was working with that pencil sharpener and using it with my pencils. So that's really cool how a pencil sharpener can honestly change so much when you're an artist. Um, Cause I was working with this really crappy pencil sharpener before it was like so messy, so dull, my God, invest in a pencil sharpener. They're like really good ones are like seven bucks and I would highly recommend. So um, yeah, what's new? What is new? Um, I've been gone for like a month. Um, I was taking a little break. I was working on getting hired at Papa's Pizzeria, which I'm working my second day today. Um, it's Mod Pizza, it's not Papa's Pizzeria, but it's like basically Papa's Pizzeria. So, um, yeah, if you're in the Decatur area, I'll be working there probably. Um, it's pretty cool. It's really nice. Um, I'm having a really good experience so far, and it's good that I'm finally able to make my own income. Oh, here we are with the better lighting um, back at home. As you can see, the process took like days upon days. I took probably a few days break in between each session that I sat down and drew, which is honestly a good thing to do. If you are drawing and you want to aim for the most what's the word like you want it to reach the most potential possible i think a good thing to do is take a few days breaks or even longer than that just so you can see oh wait i messed up on this i should probably fix it before it gets even worse and i don't realize it because if you take a step back for a certain amount of time and then you come back it, it just makes sense right what else has been going on recently um hmm uh, not much has been going on actually. Um, my birthday happened. I'm 17 now. That's kind of cool. It's the one year so far that hasn't really felt like my birthday. Like it felt like a super normal day. And since I got my license recently, I was able to just drive to my boyfriend's place for a few hours and we just hung out. Um, yeah, we just kind of flopped around for a few hours. Not in like a weird, a, a weird way, but we, we we just hung out. Yeah, it was really cool. And I had a really great day. He gave me one of those um, <laughs> stuffed bears with like the tiny heads and the really big bodies. Um, it was so cute. I need to think of what to name it. So if you have any suggestions, I am so open. I'm trying to think of the perfect name and I need some help, honestly. And he wants me to name it. He keeps bugging me about it. So um <laughs> Yeah, please comment, please message me if you have any names for the bear. He's so soft, I cuddle with him every night because um, I, I like to cuddle with pillows and stuffed animals and, and to replace the space of a human being because I don't like sleeping alone. Not that I've never slept, not that I have n slept with another person quite literally, not in the metaphorical um, sleeping with someone terminology, but um, I don't enjoy feeling alone in my bed. I would like another presence to be there because what if someone breaks into my house and wants to kill me and there, there's just no one there? Like I want to experience a murder with someone else if I'm going to be murdered in my sleep. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I, I don't this is just gonna be me rambling for the rest of the video it's almost done anyway yesterday I watched a movie called Penelope and I vaguely remember when I was a kid 
and it's about a girl who was like born with a pig snout but it wasn't it, it kind of looked like a normal nose except a little bigger and, and kind of like a pig nose and everyone was like freaked out in the movie and no one wants to date her and everyone's so scared of her but she looks so normal anyway and like spoiler she gets her no normal nose back because it was a curse when she was born but like it's a good message that you shouldn't judge someone from what they look like but I don't know. They made people overreact over a freaking pig-like nose. She wasn't even a real pig. She was Anyway, the video is wrapping up. This is the final piece. Um yeah, I think it turned out okay. I'm kind of proud of myself. And um if you like it, give it a like. Give the video a like. Or you can go to my Instagram. It's in the description and you can look at it ag again. You can look at it again for a second time. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I love you guys so much. Bye.